Maya Deren and Alexander Hamid's Meshes of the Afternoon is an important piece of experimental cinema which, due to its exploration of repetition and dreamlike ethereal logic, the film holds a large influence over decades of experimental filmmaking that followed. Meshes of the Afternoon also feels very much a likely influence on David Lynch. Due to its ethereal images, its undeniably haunting atmosphere drenched in a mystical enigma, and for its portrayal of abstract concepts, Concepts delving into what seems to be subconscious memories and dreams. Writing for The Guardian, Mark Webber stated that the work of Maya Deren is generally regarded as the modern starting point for film as personal expression. She made Meshes of the Afternoon in Hollywood Hills in 1943 and, except for its use of the basic tools of cinema, it bears little resemblance to the films being made by the mainstream industry. Deren developed her own film language that echoed pre-war Europe European experimentation and the early Soviet avant-garde. Meshes was the first trance film in which a lone protagonist wanders through a succession of dreamlike episodes that represent an interior psychological journey. Like Ziga Vertov before her with Man with the Movie Camera, Maya Deren's film replicates that impression of being in an escapable trance with images that beautifully wash over the viewer, encouraging the viewer to grasp and interpret certain aspects of the film's imagery and sequences, starring Maya Deren and Alexander Hamid themselves as nameless characters, possibly reflections of their personal selves. Meshes of the Afternoon explores the relationship between time and reality. A woman returns home, discovering differences indicating that somebody has been here before, only to soon realise it is herself discovering the existence of past, present or future selves, possibly even dream selves. Through the repetition of visual motives such as a flower, a seemingly endlessly falling house key, a house telephone off the hook, or a cloak-draped enigmatic reaper-esque figure with a mirror for a face, Meshes of the Afternoon makes its protagonist retrace her footsteps over and over and over, in a way that is disorienting, verging on dizzying. It's not clear whether we are viewing the reality of memories that blur together as one, a manipulation of time, or if we are experiencing her dreams. Meshes of the the afternoon within its short running time of 14 minutes effortlessly and masterfully breaks down the barriers of time, space and reality into a fascinating cinematic experience. Alongside the implementation of rapid jump cuts that intend to jar the viewer, absurd camera angles and distinctive shadows, the aesthetic of meshes of the afternoon is also stark and distinctive. It feels like a fading memory of a dream, fading ever faster after soon waking up from a deep sleep. Meshes of the Afternoon also creates that peculiar experience within dreams where they feel almost too realistic, that our sleeping selves find it difficult, nigh impossible, to determine whether what we are experiencing is a dream or not. Even the film's ending plays into this strange impression, as the woman is woken from resting in her chair by a man, his face is eventually smashed, revealing that he was only a reflection of reality. Through the smash in this mirroring facade, there is is a landscape, as if waking from the dream is an impossibility. For a brief moment, we as viewers find comfort in her waking up. These peculiar mysterious images were all a dream and a figment of imagination, but when the facade is smashed, it is a realisation that our protagonist has not awoken yet. Meshes of the Afternoon is rather eerie and unsettling in this aspect. Delving into the fantastical and hopelessness, this short film recreates a feeling of dread in being unable to escape the unexplainable, in being unable to escape the inescapable, like a mystery that is impossible to solve, scattered with clues. Meshes of the Afternoon's sense of dream logic isn't dissimilar to that found in Alain René's Last Year in Marienbad. There's information aplenty on offer within the film, but the exploration of impossible time and space is difficult to grasp. Meshes of the Afternoon is like a visual feast. The imagery is memorable, the cinematography beautiful, the black and white photography emphasising the impact of the film's shadows, costumes light and airy yet stylish. Darren's film, despite its short running time, just looks absolutely sumptuous, like a visual poem despite its incredible complexity. Meshes of the Afternoon, in regards to its visual aesthetic, doesn't feel difficult to appreciate. In 
conclusion, Maya Derren's and Alexander Hamid's classic Meshes of the Afternoon, while a challenging film to pinpoint what we as viewers are watching, is it time travel, a dream, or breaking into an anti-reality? It is, however, not difficult to appreciate what this short experimental film achieves, visually gorgeous and undeniably influential. On the filmmakers that follow in its footsteps, Meshes of the Afternoon is an essential piece of experimental filmmaking that should not be missed. Thank you.